Hello all. Today I'm going to be doing some tongue twisters with you. Tongue twisters are possibly the very best way to practice your articulation. What does it mean to be articulate? When people say that someone is not articulate, we must understand what articulation is. When we are being articulate, we are speaking every word the way it should be spoken. We're taking care of vowels that people leave out. For example, the word variety has an, has an E there. So if I say variety, I'm not being articulate. So it's three syllables, variety, sorry, four syllables. The word diary, if I say diary, then I'm being inarticulate. So there's an A there, so I've got to say diary. If I say history, I'm also being inarticulate. I must say history, history. The word difference has an E there. So if I say difference, I am being inarticulate. Doesn't matter what the British say. The word being is two syllables. If I say being, she's being so silly, I am inarticulate. So it's being, seeing, crying, dying, lying, buying, mm, well, whatever else. Um, there's also words like personality. If I say, what a lovely personality she has. There's an, there's an O there. I must take care of the O. So personality, five syllables, not four syllables. Um, the second, that's the second rule. Make sure you speak your missing vowels. All right, don't leave vowels out that need to be sounded out in every word. And the last and final rule for being articulate is to speak the last sounds. So if I say, you must see that movie, huh? It's fantastic. I'm being an articulate. I've got to say, you must see. So it's okay when we're talking casually and um, uh, not as public speakers, when we let these things slip. But when we're on a stage, when we're speaking in front of an audience, it is imperative that we use our last sounds. I don't always speak like this, but right now I'm speaking to an audience. So I must speak to the best of my ability. So must speak, not must speak. Miss someone's at the door. Miss someone's at the door. Mum, may I come in? Mum, may I come in? Mum, may I come in? No. So you've got to, to separate those consonants and make sure you speak both of them. All right, so now we're going to do some tongue twisters and let's have some fun. Tongue twisters are great fun. Unique New York. Unique New York. And you go faster and faster. Unique New York. Three free throws. The TH says th. So there's no th, 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 th in English. There's only and th and th, three sounds for T or TH. So three free throws. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. So use, ex use exaggeration when you want to make them sound different. Otherwise, you'll be doing red leather, yellow leather, red leather, red leather yellow, yellow leather. Don't do that, don't, that's terrible. That's not the way to do tongue twisters. Also, don't do them one word at a time. Red leather, yellow leather, and then try and do them faster. No, tongue twisters are spoken phrase by phrase and not word by word. This is a nice one. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought, I thought I thought. So it's got to have meaning. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. Then you go even faster. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. That's how you do tongue twisters, yeah? 
Next. One one was a racehorse. Two two was one two. When one 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 race, two two one one two. One one was a racehorse. Two two was one two. When one 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 run one. When one 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 run one race, two two one one two. Say this sharply. Say this sweetly. Say this shortly. Say this softly. Say this sixteen times very quickly. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. All right. Silly Sally swiftly shooed seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep, Silly Sally shooed, shilly shallied south. Then you go faster. Silly Sally swiftly shooed seven silly sheep. The seven silly sheep, Silly shall, Sally shooed, shilly shallied south. Fun, isn't it? This is fun. I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish the witch wishes, I won't wish to wish the, you, the wish you wish to wish. Well, that didn't go too well. I wish the wish, you wish to wish. But if you wish the wish, the wicked wish which is, I will not wish the wish you wish to wish. She sells seashells on the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. She sells seashells on the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. She sells seashells on the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed biscuit mixer. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed mix biscuit mixer. And you go faster and faster. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. The full stop and the t t t must sound out. I will do another video where you won't have to see me. I will do the tongue twister slowly and then you can practice. But they are the best, best exercise for articulation. Also, before you practice any, any articulation exercises, before you speak publicly, it's always a good idea to do some organ of speech exercises to, to stretch your organ of speech so you open your mouth wide and then you make it as small as you can you do that a couple of times after that you should do some trills uh, you can do So that's going to make your tongue um, more agile. A lot of us have a thick tongue, so, we, so it's difficult to articulate and to speak uh, clearly. So if you do some tongue trilling, it's really good. All right, what else can you do? Hmm. Um, yeah, you can do vowels. So you can do ah, oh, ooh, e, a. Oh, so you do do different vowel sounds. You can even do them with, um, with um, you can practice pitch while you're doing them. So you can do, um, you can do try and do two octaves. You can do one octave if you want. You can go, you can go, do re mi fa so la ti do, do re mi fa so la ti do, do ti la so fa mi re do. Do ti la so fa mi re do. Um, by doing that, you're practicing. You're 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 using all the different um, chords in your vocal chords. In your your, your you, you could use um, you could you could use them when you're talking, and you can go high, you can go low. Oh my gosh! Like why would I not want to do that? So you just use different different um, parts of your vocal chords. Okay, I think I've strayed a bit. Well, tongue twist, 
tongue twisters. Um, remember to do the p, so Peter picked. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? So make sure there's meaning every time you do a tongue twister. All right, what else? Mm -mm -mm. Sasha sews slightly slashed sheets shut. Sasha sews slightly slashed sheets shut. Sasha, Sasha sews slightly slashed sheets up, sheets sh shut. It's difficult, difficult for anyone. You've got to practice. So what's, what, is that, what does that mean? Sasha, girl called Sasha, she sews, she stitches up, slightly slashed sheets shut, right? All right. Um, a proper cup, a coffee pot. So remember when you're sounding out words, so there's caught or caught, but there's also cut. There's bought, but there's also bought. But, like a but, like a, like a technology thing. There's also taught, but there's also taught, little baby. Yeah, so bought, caught, taught. But, cut, tot, jot. Short, short sounds. Coffee, coffee is a short sound. Um, water, water is a long sound. Water, can I have some water please? No, water, so or, war, yeah. All right, so have fun with tongue twisters and look for the next video where you won't have to see me, you'll just listen to the tongue twisters. Thank you. Bye.